Hello and welcome to the noisy world of ATEM control. Today Blackmagic released ATEM switches 9.5 which is supposed to give lots of enhanced features to the newer models, the ATEM minis here, uh, with regards to multi-view out and various other things. But does it work with the older models? This is a TV Studio Pro 4K and this is a Broadcast Studio 4K. Not in the new lineup, but one of the things that always annoyed people is the lack of customizability of the multi-view display. So that's something which this software is supposed to address with these, but does it work with these? Okay, so first up, we're gonna plug into the Atom Mini SDI and see what options that gives us. Here's the multi-view. All the stuff here as normal. Let's go into options, uh, 1080, 50, camera control monitoring. Disable fade to black uh, is not clickable. That's annoying. Maybe it requires an Atom setup first. Atom SDI Pro ISO, update required. Yeah, there we go. So let's update it first. So it is a hardware, firmware update to the switches as well as just to the control software. It's exciting, isn't it? I'm excited. Okay, so we have updated. Let's go to, go to the software and let's go to here. Disable fade to black. We can use that, that's cool. Media audio multi-view. Borders, we can now add borders on or off. That's fun, is that doing anything? Oh yeah, look, you can literally remove the borders. That's fun. We can have borders of different colours. How nice. Let's have a nice red border. Isn't that lovely? That'll really confuse people. Now, what's this? We can have text on and off. So that's preview on and off. Oh, wow. Frame guides on and off on each, on each one. So you can have the text on or off. You can have the audio meters on and off. And you can have frame guides. Not especially helpful, but there is. Now, a 9x16 one, which is quite fun. Let's put that on there. So if you were mixing a program to go out on Instagram or TikTok, you know, vertical video, you can actually have frame guides on for that on the screen now, which actually, that is quite useful. Sources, output media, I don't think there's anything else particularly, uh, but those are all fun. That's, that's quite some useful features there. You can now do YouTube SRT in the output live stream options and it looks like there's one or two other new options in there as well that's useful record is still the same yeah it looks like everything else is fairly similar but you know that that's cool let's plug in the standard atom mini i think it is a Atom mini pro that one actually okay update done let's go to Switch control, oh, there we go. So now we're in switch control for there. Let's have a look. So again, we have disable fade to black. I'm gonna turn that on immediately because that is one of the more useful features about the whole thing. And again, we have all these borders on and off. We have our 16 by nine and nine by 16 options for the overlays. There we go, that's cool. Again, nothing else particularly I can, I can see. So yeah, again, we have the SRT option in the YouTube streaming thingy. So 9.5 works with both the ATEM Mini models, gives us the new options that are pretty cool on the multi-view there. Let's see though, if any differences have been made to the older models, which I suspect not, but it's worth a go. Update available, yes. So here we go, this, so this has had an update to the TV Studio Pro 4K. Let's see what is in store for us on there. Okay, here we go. Disable fade to black is not available. That's a shame. Media audio multi-view. Okay, so we have the all off and frame guides all on option. And on the preview only, we have frame guides so not much going on there that's a shame so you can change the the layout but not entirely customize it so not much difference there 
So it's had an update, but it doesn't actually appear to have done anything. There's not even the 9x16 frame guides available, that's a shame. So not much difference with the Atom TV Studio Pro 4K, but let's have a look just for fun at the Broadcast Studio 4K. So no update popping up for this. Here we go, so we're into the software. Let's just have a look. Again, nothing obviously different. It's had no firmware update. Disable fade to black is not available. Multi-view, meters all on, all off. But we again, annoyingly don't appear to have any of the frame guides or other options. That's a shame. I was hoping that for this or this, they might have given us the ability to completely customize the multi-view layout the same way you can in the constellations, but uh, sadly not. I mean, it's purely software, so it would be something you'd think would be really easy to implement. Um, and why wouldn't you? Because at the moment, even with two monitors, this is a 20 input device. Even with two monitors, you can't preview all 20 inputs. How ridiculous is that? You've only got 16 inputs visible at all, even with two monitors. So uh, anyway, basically the update's really good for these two. It does what it says, uh, but it hasn't appeared to make any difference whatsoever to these two, even though this one had an update um, during the process, um, this one didn't. So hasn't seemed to sadly make much difference. So that was just a quick rundown on the 9.5 Atom switches update. Yeah, we've got the functions from there, but nothing new, unfortunately, for the old models. Uh, so, yeah, keep on at Blackmagic and maybe they'll give us full functionality one day for the, uh, for the multi-view out of here and customizable layouts for the multi-view, which really would be useful. And actually, those 9x16 frame guides that we can now have on these would be quite useful on here because a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, live streaming is now going vertical and having the frame guides on the screen would be really useful. So um, yeah, we've got these models. We paid a lot of money for them. Couldn't hurt to tweak that software as well, could it? Thanks for watching anyway.